to another segment of The MCR. My name is TJ. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're on multiple platforms. We're on multiple social media sites. I'll especially mention Truth Social. Uh, thanks everyone for your support uh, wherever you may be watching this video. In this segment, I'm going to talk about how California is leading the way to us becoming a new third world hellhole. They're setting the example. And this, this especially pains me given, given my, my past experiences in that in 1986, when I was in the Army, I was stationed at Fort Ord, California, Central Coast, in what's, what's referred to as the Monterey Bay, and uh, we were just outside of the small town of Monterey, which was just north of another small town named Carmel, and if Carmel sounds familiar, that is the city or town that Clint Eastwood was mayor of back in 1986 when I was there, I'll tell you. So I fell in love with the area. Uh, the temperature never changed. It was never too hot. Sometimes it did get a little too chilly, but it, you know it didn't matter what time of the year it was. It was morning cloud and fog, burning off by noon, highs expected into the upper 60s, lower 70s. I mean, it didn't matter whether it was February, July, or September. It was almost the same temperature all the time. You know, I loved it. But in hindsight, as I sit here in Michigan, I got to tell you, I am so glad that I am no longer in that messed up state. About two weeks ago, California came out basically saying that in, in the, by the year 2035, they are seeking or wanting to outlaw the sale of gasoline-powered vehicles. You know, that's 12 and a half years from now. In a previous segment Mac and I were doing, I, I made mention that most homes are not equipped, built, uh, you know, with electric, the proper electrical wiring to handle the output, the load required to charge electric vehicles. Then the word was getting out that to charge an electrical, electric vehicle, uh, it was going to be three times as much as your central air. And everyone knows central air is what jacks up your electric bill. And then the, this charging station is going to jack that up three times more. Now California is in, in, is in what I call the proverbial pickle. They're Hades bent on going green, but right now the, the state of California, they're experiencing a drought and a heat wave. Their renewable energy sources are inadequate to keep up with the demand. Their current grid is facing 2,000 to 4,000 megawatt deficiencies. Well. Now they're talking about doing rolling blackouts and in making a public service announcement, I think is what you call it, Governor Newsom, in his environmentally controlled setting with his very nice zip-up fleeced jacket or sweater, uh, is basically, my, my cat's running around, he's dr drawing my attention, sorry there. But uh, Governor Newsom, is uh, he, he makes this announcement to expect rolling blackouts and, and asking the residents of California to turn up, basically turn up their air conditioning, turn it up to 78 degrees instead of like uh, 70 or 72 or whatever people like it at. But, uh, uh, you know, so, and, and with him sitting there wearing his very nice uh, designer fleece jacket, you know, you talk about the the, uh, just another act of condescension, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, give, given this uh, electric, uh, this uh, uh, electric uh, deficiency that they're going, they, they are expecting to experience it, they are going to activate four very large natural gas powered generators. And from what I heard, these things are huge. Uh, 
and they run off of natural gas. And, and you know what? Natural gas, you'd think, is clean energy. Oh, but it, it's, it, it, no matter how clean it is, it's still deemed fossil fuel. So, you, so do away with the natural gas, too. You know, more idiocy. And just a couple weeks ago, I was talking about how we're led by idiots. Meanwhile, you have ex-beauty uh, pageant contestant. I don't know if she ever won anything at it, but she, she used to be in these beauty contests. Uh, the ex-governor of Michigan here, Jennifer Granholm, and we used to call we used to call her Governor Tax Home. Uh, she is now uh, Secretary of the Energy Department. You know, the energy part department that produces no energy, as Mark Levin likes to say. Uh, you know, she's acting like a some giddy high school cheerleader saying how California is in the lead were her words and uh, showing the rest of the country and again in her words how it is done how it is done how it is done that you have rolling blackouts how it is done that you activate emergency generators you know that's how it's done and they're in the lead they're showing us I I've said this before for some time now I feel like I'm witnessing uh, our, our very society turning into a Hunger Games type of uh, scenario and by that I mean you got your you got your uh, leftist uh, good time rock and roll cities living the high life while flyover countries living in abject poverty and just being beat down upon and and you know what so yeah you got you got like San Francisco you know th those types uh, you know the left coast uh, there, because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of millionaires in, in California, and they're living the high life while while the rest of flyover country, whether it be California or the rest of the country, you know, we're just we're just being beat down upon. You know, I and I keep thinking of Dan Bongino's reference to baseball, where the coach comes out saying, "Bring in the lefty, bring in the lefty," but there is no lefty. Bring in the lefty, bring in the lefty. You know, it, it, that that's what that's what that's what we got going on here. Bring in the green energy, but the grid can't handle it. Well, bring it in anyways. Uh, you know, they're telling people you need to start driving electric cars, and then they're going to say, "Well, we can't charge our electric cars because the grid can't handle it." Well, you shouldn't be driving that much anyway. You know, which is which is just another way they want to control our freedom. I would tell you. You know. They got all these ways, all their, all these schemes of theirs of, of how they're going to control our movement, and and heck, this could just be another one of their oh well, this is what we wanted anyways type of nonsense. So there it is. This is my latest rant. It, this is insane. We're led by idiots. Uh, they're hell bent on bringing in the lefty, and uh, and 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 that that's uh, one final thought. One final thought. I read a news report how in Europe, uh, because of the Ukraine war, Russia has turned off their natural gas spigot that Germany and and wherever else, uh, well, they were just going to get their they were going to get their uh, natural gas from Europe so that they didn't have to contaminate their own homeland. Well, guess what? Now you got people going out and getting wood because they're resorting to uh, wood burning stoves to heat their homes. As winter sets in, you know, so so yeah, uh, you know, bring in the lefty, okay? That's it. Uh, no more rant here. I'm. Uh, I'll I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, as always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me.